In this video, I explain various type of pulley. So, various seven type of pulley is available. First type of pulley is the solid pulley. So, from the name, we can understand the solid pulley is made in a single piece. It is made from single piece of cast iron as shown in a figure. Means it is made from the cast iron material and it is made in a single piece. So, here we see it is the single piece pulley means in a single piece pulley the arm is the solid disc type so here we are not seeing the separate arms okay so arm is a one type of disc so it is called as the solid pulley solid pulley relatively smaller in size and this pulley can be mounted on a sub by inserting from one end so it is smaller in size and how this pulley is fit on the sub so it is insert from the one end of the shaft second type is the split pulley so from the name we can understand the split pulley is made in more than one parts so it is called as the split pulley it is split in a two half as shown in a figure means split pulley is made in a two parts so here we see this is the one part this is the second part and these two parts are joined by using the nut and bolt in this diagram we can also see that this is the one part this is the second part and these two parts are joined by using the nut and bolt it can be joined at the rim and the hub by means of bolt or links so this part is the rim so here we use the nut and bolt this part is the hub so near the hub also the bolt and nut is used this pulley can be mounted on shaft at any place without changing the assembly of the bearing and shaft so this pulley is made in a two parts so we can easily fit the split pulley anywhere without changing the bearing and the shaft locations now before moving on to third types i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to basic mechanical engineering or other subject of mechanical engineering for bme subject various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for other subject i request to visit the playlist third type is the step or con pulley so from the word we can understand the pulley is made in a different step like as the steer case okay so in a steer various steps are there so in a step pulley the various two to three steps are provided to achieve the variation in the speed so step pulley is used when the speed of the driven shaft is to be changed very frequently as in a case of machine tools such as lathe and the drilling machines step pulley is an internal casting having three or more number of pulley of different diameter as shown in a figures so in this diagram we can see it is the one two three and four steps are there so here there is a four pulleys are there but they are in integral casting means they are made in a one single piece these are the other diagrams this is the step pulley here we see that one two and three steps are there and they are the integral casting so here the one pulley have different diameters second have different diameters third one have a different diameters so each step pulley is mounted on a driving and driven shaft so in this diagram we see that one is a driving shaft second is the driven shafts so on a both the shaft we need to install the step pulley and endless belt will be wrapped around the pair of pulley so here we see that this brown color part is the belt so it is wrapped on the pulley the speed of the driven shaft can be varied by shifting the belt from one pair of pulley to the another means when we require the different speed we need to move this belt means we need to shifting the belt from one pulley to another pulley so here the smaller diameter pulley are there means we are achieving the more speeds this is the driving pulley so on a driving pulley the small diameter pulley are there and on the driven shaft or a driven pulley is connected with the larger diameter then on a driven shaft we achieve the less speed 
So the diameter of the driving and driven pulley are such that the same belt will operate when shifting the on the different pairs of pulley. Means when we shift the belt, that is a same belt is used. Okay, because the diameter is designed on such a way that the length of the belt is required same. Fold pulley is the fast and loose pulley. So here we see the diagram of the fast and loose pulley. This is the driver shaft. This is the driver pulley. This is the driven shaft. So with the driven shaft, the some machine members are connected, and on the driven shaft, the two pulley are used: fast pulley and the loose pulley. So when number of machine run from main driving shaft, it may require to start or stop some of the machine intermediately without start or stop the main driving shaft every time. Means by using one driving shaft, we can run the three or four machines. Okay, so we are not required to run all the machine at the same times. So one machine is working, we need to stop the second machines. Third machine is working, we need to stop four machines. So at that time, we need to use the fast and loose pulley. So this is possible by mounting pair of pulley as a fast and loose pulley. Means one pulley is called fast pulley. They are Engage with the shaft, and these loose pulley are fitted on the hub. So when this loose pulley is rotated, our driven shaft is not rotated. Okay, so here the two type of pulley is used. One pulley name is fast pulley, second pulley name is the loose pulley. That's why its name is given the fast and loose pulley. The fast pulley is securely key to the machine shaft so that it can rotate along with the shaft. So shaft pulley, sorry, fast pulley is Fitted on a shaft by using the key means when the fast pulley is rotated, our shaft is also rotated. While the loose pulley fitted with a brass bus, so that it can freely rotate on the shaft as shown in a figure. So this loose pulley is not directly fitted on the shaft. In between the shaft and the loose pulley, one bus is fitted. It is made from the brass. So when the loose pulley is rotated. Our shaft is not rotated. That's why its name is given as the loose pulley. The wider driving pulley key to the main driving shaft. So on a driving shaft, we see that the width of the pulley is higher. That's why its name is given the wider driving pulley. Hence, it rotated along with it. Means when we change. The shaft from the sorry when we change the belt from the fast pulley to loose pulley, we have required the wider width of the driving pulley. So when the belt on the fast pulley, the power is transmitted from the driving shaft to the machine shaft. Means when this belt is connected with the fast pulley, power is transmitted from driving shaft to driven shafts. When the belt is shifted from fast pulley to the loose pulley, the loose pulley rotated through belt. But machine shaft not rotated along with it because loose pulley can freely rotate on shaft. So when we shift this belt from the fast pulley to loose pulley, at that time what happened? Loose pulley is rotated, but the driving shaft is not rotated. The moment of belt from the fast to loose pulley or loose to fast pulley are takes place by axial moment of belt shifters. So here we need to use the belt shifter. To shift the belt from fast to loose pulley or loose to fast pulley. Fifth type is the jockey pulley. Jockey pulley is the idler pulley, and it is used to increase the angle of contact in open belt drives. So jockey pulley is the idler pulley, and why it is used? It is used to increase the angle of contact. So it is mounted near the smaller pulley of two pulley, and it's placed on the slack side of the Belt drive as shown in a figures. So here we see this is a larger pulley. This is a smaller pulley. This is the jockey pulley. So jockey pulley is installed near the smaller pulley, and on the smaller pulley it is installed in a slack side. It is installed near the slack side of the belt. So jockey pulley is increase the angle of contact, and angle of contact is increased than the increase in the tension. Means T1 and T2 is increased. When the tension is increased, the power transmission capacity of the drive is also increased. So, by using the jockey pulley, we can increase the power transmission capacity of a drive. Sixth pulley is the guide pulley. 
so from the name we can understand the guide pulley is used to guide the belt the guide pulley are used to guide the belt when connecting parallel intersecting or non intersecting shaft so here in this diagram we see that the two shaft are not parallel okay they are intersect here with each other so it is called as the intersecting drive and in a intersecting drive we need to guide the belt here so here we use the one pulley so it is called as the guide pulley the guide pulley are guide the belt to keep the belt in a proper plane as shown in a figures last type is the groove pulley so on a pulley the various groove is provided groove means various slot is provided on the pulley so groove pulley have v groove circular groove or a rectangular groove on the rim to carry a v belt or a rope so here in this pulley we see that the v groove is provided so when we use the v belt so it is fitted on this groove and the proper grip is made between the pulley and belt so power is easily transmit sometime we use the circular belt so we need to use the circular groove in the pulley so here we see it is not a circular but it's have the rectangular shape so here we use the flat belt so at that time we need to use this type of the groove pulley so it is generally made from cast iron materials the groove on this rib is help to increase the frictional grip of belt or rope on the pulley it means frictional grip between the belt and the pulley is increase and when frictional grip is increase we are able to transmit the more power so here we are complete the various types of pulley so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to mechanical engineering and don't forget to share with your friends